Wow, what a great day to be alive. Let me increase my IQ by going on the internet. What is this, bro? Here's a new sexuality I made. Monosexual. Feeling romantic sexual attraction to one person. This fool really just described... <laughs> just described love and said it was a new sexuality. And I'm gonna be real with you guys, I don't know if it's because I'm hungry, but that flag just looks like a hot dog. Can we all agree that this isn't normal? Uh, what are we looking at? Femboy, bye, yeah, okay. Minor, 14 years of age. <laughs> Bottom, Hotline Miami and Def Clock fan. Yeah, I, I can really see the two parts you've uh, highlighted as a problem, but what about the part where it says minor and 14 years of age? God damn! Hey guys, it's Ben here. I'm actually, this is post editing now I'm talking. I'm just thinking I probably shouldn't, <laughs> I probably shouldn't leave in the part where I said minor, 14 years of age, and then with a goddamn. <laughs> We're going to leave it in because that was my genuine reaction to reading that. <laughs> I feel like kids today are just way too exposed to stuff that when I was 14 years of age, I had no idea what half of these words even were. All aboard the toxic gossip train. <laughs> Chatting down the tracks of this information. The toxic gossip train. You got one way bring it to a bit relation station. 2023 is honestly just a fever dream. I don't know how anyone can be exposed for being weird with their fans and honestly think it's a good idea to make a response video in the form of a song. And now we have AI covers of Plankton from SpongeBob SquarePants singing it. I mean, what even is life? <laughs> mm, glizzy, yum, yummy, yes, yum, <laughs> glizzy. <laughs> All right, look, I can't be everyone's father on YouTube, but honestly, if I ever caught my kid sucking some go-schlong and saying the word glizzy on TikTok Live, I would put you up for adoption so fast, it would be considered a speed run. Like, I'm not joking. If there was a basketball hoop at the entrance of the orphanage, I would slam dunk you through it. Oh yeah, nothing like looking back on fond memories as a child and remembering the time you pretended you had Tourette's. I'm interested to know, what did you all do as kids when you went around to a friend's house? Because I know for a fact that I never thought about pretending to have a disorder as a fun pastime. You would have been seen as the weird kid. Oh no, cringe. What are you doing? Are these those people who think they're like animals? I mean, if they are, I want to see some commitment. I want to see you out on the lawn sniffing your own <laughs> Bro, what am I even meant to say to this? I can't even finish the sentence. I want to see some commitment. I want to see you out there sniffing your own ass, licking your own balls. If you honestly believe you are an animal, then I want to see some commitment. Round of applause for whatever that was. <laughs> Who is actually a target audience for TikToks like this? These guys look about like 18 or 19, maybe 20 years of age, and, and they're posting first traps for girls who are underage. It's really weird and creepy. It's not even just cringe, it's just straight up creepy. You guys need to uh, find people your own age to hang around with. Actually chronically online behavior. Oh wow, so cute. Can I use it as my Twitter profile picture please? No you may not, it was commissioned for me. I mean, I don't really understand what the cringe part of this is. I guess it might be someone stealing your art which you've, which you've paid for. But don't worry, Fluffy, I went into paint and I made you my own version. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you might not know, know that I'm an artist, but I am pretty proud of this. I went into paint and I made this in about two 
minutes. So yeah, you can use this as your profile picture. See, I even watermarked it to say that I did in fact make this. Right, so this next video is from someone called The Donut Daddy. I mean, what are we in for? <laughs> Yep, that is exactly how I like to see people make donuts. I like to see them slap that dough and then kiss it and blow into it. Yep, that looks scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> Bruh, I am so glad I am not in school with today's kids. Bruh, I mean, seriously, where are her parents? Like, does she not have any voice in her head which is saying, hey, this this might not be a good idea to post this after watching it back? If you have an Android phone, <laughs> a red flag. <laughs> you have an Android? No. Just nice. sound like you're 12. Why? <laughs> I'm, that, that's a common thing. A lot of people... I, I know, know. A lot of women sound like they're 12 when so they true. say that. So I don't true. know. Something about Android phone just throws like, me like off. You would give up somebody that who, who might be the love of your life. Android phone? That's crazy. Can someone get this moldy foot looking person off the mic? I mean, seriously, who honestly considers an Android phone a red flag when it comes to meeting someone? Like, this is actually just next level sad. I mean, the standards that people have to be in a relationship, it seems, nowadays is just so unbelievably high. And like I said, this person looks like a moldy foot. That would be a red flag to me. I'd be like, if I have an Android phone, you look like a foot. PewDiePie says he is finally free from content grind after moving to Japan. I saw this. I'm, you know, I'm happy for PewDiePie. I'm happy that he's done all these years of grinding on YouTube and he's now living the life that he's made for himself. But this tweet is just quote tweeted by an absolute piece of spaghetti who's calling him misogynistic. He literally has a wife who has her own business, if I remember correctly. Apparently, he's racist. He moved to Japan. He's apparently corn addicted, <laughs> corn addicted men. He's just had a baby and apparently he's obsessed with Japan and it's not a coincidence. People move to different countries. It, it, they just do that. And then she says, or he says, I'll be here to watch the downfall. Yeah, this guy has made millions. I, I don't think you're going to see this downfall anytime soon. Proud of not being American. Bye America. Hello LA. I mean, this isn't even that far-fetched. I honestly believe LA is just completely disconnected from everywhere else in the world. I know people like to joke around and say that we're living in the Matrix, but if anywhere is a completely different reality, it's LA. But that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, subscribe. It helps the channel grow and gives you your dose of cringe. I hope you all have a great day, and I hope you all go outside and touch some grass.